yesterday, we featured part one of our chat with a New York Times bestselling author based right here in Mesa County. Gerald Blaine is a retired Secret Service agent with some incredible stories. This morning, our Timber Schumann continues his interview with Mr. Blaine, who takes you through his experience with the JFK assassination, which is covered in his book, The Kennedy Detail. Our intent was to give the readers an idea of what President Kennedy was like and what were the events leading up to the assassination and uh, tearing down the theories that people were introducing. One theory, the magic bullet. Oftentimes, the number of shots fired and from where varies depending on who you ask. Jerry tells me three shots were fired, all from Oswald on the sixth floor of the book depository, which would rule out another theory, the grassy knoll. He says three workers on the fifth floor heard it all through the ceiling. And when Oswald fired the first shot, they heard the shot, fell stuff fall on their head, and then dropped to the floor, and then they heard the casing hit the floor. Then came the second shot, the same sequence, and the third shot, the same sequence. The first bullet, to Jerry's account, hit Kennedy in the back of the neck. The second shot hit Governor Conley, and the third shot hit the side of Kennedy's head. Jerry says it was impossible to clear every room around the block with so few people assigned to the detail. We only had about 48 people on the White House detail. Protecting the president at any one time were only five agents. Nowadays, 30 to 40 people guard the president at all times, making it much less likely this fragment of history would repeat itself. But today, the challenges are greater. And now, those terrors are worse than ever. The state of today's world gave Jerry, now 92, the motivation to write a new book called The Silent Generation Speaks. It includes the corruption of some of our politicians and to look at our country as a constitutional republic. Just the latest chapter in an adventure-filled life well lived. For KREX Channel 5, I'm Tim Schumann.